So in this video, we're going to go over a simple way to encrypt and decrypt a message using matrices. So cryptography is what we're going to be talking about. It's a, it's a pretty simple technique. So here's the idea. Suppose you have a message that you want to encrypt. I want to take another math test because everybody wants to take another math test. What you can do is lay the message out. And a simple thing that you can do is just give each letter its position number in the alphabet. So A would be position 1, B is position 2, all the way through Z in position 26. And then spaces you give a number. So in this case we're giving spaces the number 27. And you can see I have a mistake here. It says I want, and I left out the word 2, I want to take another math test. But I'm not going to redo the image, so I'm going to live with the error. But the idea is, the, because we can still talk about what the idea is. The idea is you lay the message out. And then what you can do is think about what are ways, what are things that you could do to make this more difficult to crack. But I want to take another math test. And then you go and you give each letter of the alphabet its position number in the alphabet. And if you have a blank space in the message, you just assign it another number. And then you have an, an encoding matrix. And the idea is that you take the encoding matrix A, which in this case is a three by three matrix, three, zero, four. It has to be a square matrix and it needs to have an inverse. The inverse of the encoding matrix must exist. So negative four, one, four. And then what you do is you, four, one, Four, you take the message, the numeric form of the metric, uh, message, and you put it into a matrix form. So 9, 27, 23. We go 9, 27, 23, 1, 14, 20, 1, 14, 20, 27, 21, 27, 20, and 1, 11, 5, and 27, 11, 5, and 27, 1, 14, and 15, 1, 14 and 15 and any square encoding matrix will work for this 28 and 5 28 and 5 18 27 and 13 18 27 and 13 1 20 and 8 1 20 and 8 27 20 and 5 27 20 and 5 1920, 1920, I have an extra spot, so we'll just make that a 27 to fill out the matrix. And the idea is you take the product of these two matrices. So you go A, the encoding matrix, times B, which is the matrix you want to encode. You take the product of these matrices and you generate a matrix C. And then you send this uh, matrix C, here's U, hi U, you send the matrix C over to some other poor fool, other person sub two, that way you don't you know, mix them up with person sub one. You send them the matrix C that is the product of A times B. And then what they need to have in their possession, they need to possess A inverse. And the reason, this, the reason this is gonna work is if you take A times B and you encode it with, uh, into C by taking this product, a person who has A inverse, if we think about multiplying both sides of this equation by A inverse, A inverse times A equals the identity matrix, the identity matrix times B equals B, so A inverse times C gives us the encoded matrix back. So if you send them C, all they need to do is multiply A inverse times C, and boom, they have B back, the encoded matrix. They can lay the numbers out in order, reading them out of here, 9, 27, 23, 9, 27, 23, and then they can come over to the co conversion table that you're using. In this case, we did a simple one-to-one -one position correspondence table, and then they can interpret the letters and spaces and get the message back from you. So it's a very simple idea. We're not gonna go, uh, go over it too much, but 
in in GeoGebra, let's keep this in GeoGebra. I've already typed in. This is the encoding matrix I had on that slide. Here's my encoding matrix right here. Here's the encoded or here's the uh, position um, position matrix that we came up with right here. And so the idea is is we take we take a times B to make that matrix C. We do A times B and make a matrix C. So in this case, down here in the input bar, if I go C equals the matrix A times B, pop, we get this encoded message right here. Here's the encoded message. This would be what you would send to the other person. And they have to have A inverse, which is right here. Here's A inverse they need to have this matrix in their possession and they're going to multiply A inverse times C and that should give them B back. So if we take A inverse down here in the input bar and multiply that by the encoded matrix that we just made right here, A inverse times C, what we'll notice is that that generates our new matrix M1 that gives us the original encoded matrix back. So the person who has A inverse in their possession is able then to decode the message. That's the, that's the gist of how this works. I'm not going to do a lot of examples with this because I want the homework to be something that you have to struggle with at least the tiniest bit.